How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the Tacoma Beast channel where as you all know it's all about the taco. Today we're in Loveland, Colorado for the Overland Expo Mountain West and with me today is Matt. He's the co-founder here at Truck House. How's it going Matt? What's going on Mateo? How Dude, are you? this thing is a beast. Do you mind showing me around? Of course man. What do you got here? What inspired you to start this uh this um, truck, this know, build. We really wanted to build something that would fit in the space between a, a Sprinter van and one of those bigger expedition vehicles. Okay. Um, started by building a 1987 Toyota Sun Raider, so fully rebuilt one of those, which is an 87 Toyota pickup with a fiberglass camper on the back. Yeah. Rebuilt one of those as a proof of concept. I fell in love with it. The world fell in love with it. And, and the I passion said, started I there. said, you know what we need? We need a brand new truck with our own design shell that fits a lot better um, and bring this old Sun Raider to the modern age. And so this is what we built. And what better platform to use than the Toyota Tacoma, right? Oh, I cannot, I cannot agree more, man. They are fantastic trucks and uh, we chose them for a very specific reason. All right, Matt, tell me, man, let's, let's work our way from the front to the back. No doubt, man. What do we got here? What bumper are you guys rocking? Uh, this is a Southern style off-road bumper. Um, we really like it. It fits the truck really well. Super sleek, matches all the body lines. Um, we throw a Baja Designs light bar in there as well as a Warren 12K Xenon. Um, really, really good products. We try and stick with the, you know, the highest quality stuff we can source. Um, then we move over here to the front suspension. We do a full long travel setup um, with custom tuned Foxes. A lot of people think long, long travel equates to body roll. If you set the suspension up right, it does not. You that is actually, so true. Yep. You can actually ride, have a nice stable ride with long travel. It's not designed to do 100 miles an hour through the whoops, so therefore you don't get all that big body roll. The thing thing rides like a dream. Nice, man. Yeah, and uh, and then you know we make sure the thing can stop, so we go to big six piston stop techs. So it's over a 13 inch rotor drilled and slotted, big stop techs, and then uh, aftermarket black wheels, of course. Now with with this truck being so huge, I'm assuming you guys. Uh Regeared. Oh yeah, we regear. We regear. What did uh, you guys regear to? We regeared to 529s. Perfect. That's yep. awesome. That sounds yeah. that sounds like the right uh, ratio to be in with this uh, platform. Oh, yeah. It gets down the road really well. I think the guys cruising out here were, were averaging about 80, 85. Yeah. So um, it's pretty good for an RV. That's know? awesome, man. <laughs> now I see you have a Safari snorkel here. Yeah. Did you guys do anything to the engine is, and uh, are you offering different options? We do, we do offer different options. There's a performance package we option, which is a Magnuson supercharger. Um, this truck right here That's is now- so sweet. It's so sweet, <laughs> dude. Yeah, the next couple will have that, that option and uh, we've driven the next couple around and let me tell you, they scoot, dude. Yeah. And uh, this one, we do a big alternator. So it's got a 270 amp alternator. Nice. Um, we, we tune the thing as well. Um, and then we actually get radiators from you. So we do this CSF, I believe. How do you guys like it so far? Oh man, they are fantastic. They're awesome, what man. Those, those things are huge. Chunky. Yeah. Chunky, chunky. Yeah, they are They are sweet. And then, uh, you know, under the hood, we've got an ARB air, air compressor as well. And we do the Switch Pro setup too. Sweet. Um, That's is, awesome, man. Yeah, it's good stuff. Let's keep going towards the back. What else do you got for me? Now, wait, there is one, one question, um, yeah. one thing that I do want you to mention to the viewers. Yeah. How you worked so hard with making sure that the lines all fit. Explain uh, to me, like, yeah, if you want to talk a little bit about the cool. shell, the shell's a, um, it's one piece composite shell, with carbon fiber reinforced. It's a, a cord unit, no seams, um, no leaks. It's ultra light. We use an aerospace process called infusion to build it. We build the shell in house um, out of our own molds that we designed over a thousand hours in just the shell shape design. Um, we 3D scan the truck and we make sure to match body lines. Um, so, you know, even things like the chamfered corners, these are all 45. We bring that into the shell. That's the amazing. Bo the body line through the cab continues into the camper. Um, fender flares, are those are actually in part of the shell. They're not add-on fender flares. That's actually part oh, of the nice. unit, just painted black. <laughs> um, so yeah, we spent a lot of time making sure that it specifically fit this truck perfectly. Um, a lot of people build square boxes and we wanted to make sure ours had some shape and yeah. was good looking. Dude, and it's awesome how like literally you replicated almost the hood on top of yeah. the, yeah, the camera. We, we 3D scanned the hood and we put that in the roof of the vehicle um, because every detail matters, even the ones that you can't see unless you're 20 feet away. Yeah. Um, but it needs to be very intentional. That's what I like is beautiful design. And I mean, even just the curvature of the cab, we make sure that the shell matches the curvature of the cab. Um, so that that gap can stay consistent along that radius. Yeah. If you put a flat panel there, that gap will grow from an inch to three inches by the time you get to the top. But we, with our shell, we match that curvature. That's awesome, man. That's incredible. Yeah. Dude, let's go to the back. Show me what you got. Yeah, so um, 
We, we modify and reinforce the frame a lot, so that's a, a big part of the process we do. We also have a full torsion-free uh, subframe so that the frame can flex as if there wasn't anything bolted to it. Okay, cool. Which is really important for off-road and to maintain the stability and uh, structure of the shell. Carbon fiber is super rigid, and if you didn't know, your Tacoma frame flexes a lot. Yes. So that's why the Tacoma bed isn't bolted to the truck, because when you're off-road and that frame actually is designed it's to flex, flex. So we maintain that. Um, That's awesome. We also throw a big rear axle under here to help support the weight. Big customer axle, it's pretty sweet. What about the leaf springs? I mean, we do custom leaf springs as well. Custom. Spring under or spring over? Uh, it is spring over still, yeah, and it's all custom for our weight. And then we do custom uh, foxes as well, once again, valve for the weight. We get rid of the drum brakes that come stock on Tacomas, nice. <laughs> and those are four piston stop techs with drilled and slotted rotors. Um, even with all this modification, we still enable ABS, crawl control, everything works wow. like factory. Yeah, you can. this truck has crawl control. That's amazing. Which dude. is, let me tell you, it's not easy to yeah. figure that out. Yeah, no, I, can <laughs> I can imagine, yeah, dude. When you start modifying things, your dashboard becomes a Christmas yeah, tree. Yeah, we you know? have no, no dash lights at all. Um, everything is the, the happy, happy truck, man. So that, that's the, the main thing is you start with such a nice platform. We don't want to disable anything. We want it to work as good, if not better. Yep. And part of the design, you know, we made sure that we um, we actually beat the factory TRD Pro in approach, breakover, and departure angles. Oh, no way. With the camper. Wow. Yeah. So that's that pretty a, sweet. That took a lot of design. And you're doing it on your house. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> with the house. With the house, we can- That is wild. Yeah, man. and with all the suspension upgrades, you know, we increased the wheel travel in the front. Factory is about eight inches. Um, we're closer to 12. Okay. And then in the rear, we're about 14. Um, wow. Yeah. And we, That's uh, pretty sweet, man. When we do full, you know, torsion tests on this thing and wheel it and lift it up with forklifts, you know, we can lift, we can get almost three feet off the ground um, and everything's happy. I saw that you have a rear bumper here. Yeah. Let's check it out. Yeah. The rear bumper we design and build in house. It's an aluminum dual swing. Um, with our design and build, we incorporate the factory blind spot monitors as well as the backup sensors, nice. um, which is a pretty tricky thing to do. We've got an aluminum storage box on here which can swing out to underneath your awning side, which is awesome for camping. Dude, that's so sweet. And then we do a, a Wet Sounds uh, sound bar. So this is a speaker. That's super yeah. badass. Your, your camper's got uh, indoor sound as well as outdoor sound. And it's waterproof. And it's waterproof. Yeah, 100%. And then we uh, incorporate the factory backup camera into the spare. So all that system works like factory. When you're in reverse, it's got the full overhead view of the truck and stuff, which is super nice for parking. Um, and then, yeah, the dual swing's pretty sweet. You've got um, both these swing out, and then we, we actually build our own um, tailgate in-house. This is a composite tailgate uh, with our, our logo inlaid into it. This is all external storage for all your gear. We call it the gear box. And then another cool feature is if someone parks you in in a parking lot, a ski resort, and you still want to get your skis, we have another access to that on the side. Let's shut that guy up. And then, yeah, so if you're parked in, you can come over here, pop this hatch, access to the same gearbox, grab a pair of skis, fishing pole, whatever you need. That's so awesome, man. Yeah. You guys thought of everything. We tried, man. We definitely tried. Dude, can we go check out the inside? I, yeah. know, I know not that many people have been able to see it. I know you guys, recently just finished just right? finished it yeah uh i'm super excited for yeah, it yeah man you guys are gonna be the first the first people inside and uh that's so awesome come, come check it out welcome to the interior of the truck house bct um you guys get first eyes on this thing uh, we just finished it before the expo but yeah we got a lot going on so here's our little galley we got a two burner induction cooktop as well as a bosch uh convection oven microwave and a stainless steel sink under this custom teak plywood drop-in to build the teak in-house, build the teak plywood in-house, and then you got your stainless sink, as well as your um, faucet and filtered drinking faucet. Wow, this is this is super lightweight. Yeah, check out, there's a sample up there of uh, what the doors are made out of. This is super lightweight. That's really light. That's, that's incredible. Uh, I mean, you guys have a big challenge here. You cannot go too heavy. heavy. No, exactly. That's um, that's special, special, special sauce we got going on in here with that teak. It's about the, a third the weight of um, solid teak and twice the strength. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And that um, up here, all our doors are quarter sawn teak. We grain match the whole way around the rig. So from door to door to door, all the way around in a circle, all the teak matches. Um, we do big teak nosing on all the countertops and table. 
These are all grain wrapped as well. If you follow grain string. Wow. Around dude. the corner. It all matches. The attention to detail in here is insane. It feels like I'm inside a boat. Yeah, man. Uh, that's actually my background. So I, I grew up working on yachts and ferries. Um, and you know, the one thing you know about working on a yacht is it's the craftsmanship yeah. is next level you gotta be and RVs are not like that. Yeah. So we wanted to take that Marine influence and bring it into the, the overland RV space. Question. What is this? Is this like this a is, washing? Like that's your fridge. Oh, wow. It's a true two drawer stainless steel fridge. Um, it can be fridge, 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 freezer, or freezer, freezer all on the fly. It opens like that. Oh, wow. Yeah. Really nice unit. Um, this is all your electrical controls. We've got um, 550 amp hours of batteries. We've got a 3000 watt inverter. We have a 12 volt AC system we can run with no generator. So no generator in this rig, no propane. We do full hydronic heating, heated floors. Um, there's a TV up in the bunk. We've got Apple TV. You name it, you name it, we've got it. What are these storage things? Um, like? This is pantry. We've got all stainless steel push button latches. So pan that's your pantry. We've got uh, drawers that are all soft clothes. Super nice drawers. And then above here is all overhead storage. Then you've got your U-shaped dinette. Your U-shaped dinette um, can convert into another bed. Okay. How in the table we built on custom machine slides. So you can slide to get in. That's awesome. Man. As well as pivot to make more room. And then we can slide back. There's so much space in here. Yeah. And I know the, the blinds are shut because it's easier to film in here. Yeah. But uh, the blinds are all full blackout. They have integrated screens. So you got your screens. Dude, and and that, that looks super can, smooth. Oh, man. It's so nice. And then grab right there. We go like this. And then you've got all your windows are awning style. They open full awning the whole way around the whole rig. 360. Dude, imagine right now yeah. eating like a, I don't know, a lobster tail <laughs> and having the craziest yeah, scenery dude, ever. All the way around, like you're outside. Wow, man. That's yeah. wild. And we do full sound system in here as well, all marine sound. Um, and that links up with the one in the outside? Bar. Yeah, 100%. There's more speakers up in the bunk. Dude, let's go check out the bunk. Yeah, check out the bunk, dude. Yeah, so up here we got a full queen bed. Um, really roomy we made sure to keep ample roof height and then to open it up once again blinds are closed but if all these blinds were open you've got two windows on the side two in the front as well as a 30 by 40 roof hatch so this opens just like those other ones so you can be basically outside laying up here in the bed wow. and then uh, we even hide a little tv up here so you can watch tv in bed or if you want to watch tv in the dinette the tv comes out spins 180 and you can watch TV from back here as you're eating. Exactly. And then, uh, you know, as you can see below the bed here, we've got a full pass through access to the truck. So we actually, um, we cut up the bench seats and we make two captain's chairs. Still fold just like the factory Tacoma. We have to get pretty creative to do that. It all looks factory. Um, and when they fold, the pass through actually gets bigger. So if you need more room to get through, you can pull your pull tab and slide these guys out of the way. They'll go completely flat. You could essentially also eliminate them overall and just... Yeah, we actually, um, there's three options. You can do one captain's chair and storage. You can do no chairs at all yeah. and full storage, or you can do the two captain's chairs. Wow. So that's up to the customer. And then um, lastly, but not least, we have a wet bath. No, you don't. What? Yeah. What? Yeah, Dude, that's bath. incredible. That's a little cassette toilet. And then we've got full shower, max fan. Go um, sit in there, bro, sit in there. You want me to sit in the toilet? Uh, there we go. <laughs> this is crazy. It's got a, a fan yeah. up here. Yep, yep. And, and, and when you go connect somewhere, right, for yeah. the water to drain, how does that yeah. work? Um, we have 30 gallons of fresh water and we have uh, 20 gallons of gray water. So it all, it all collects in here and then we go and drain afterwards. Okay. Yeah. One little detail we love to show besides all the beautiful teak is we um, CNC routed a, a artistic topo of um, where my co-founder is from and that's Squaw Valley USA um, big ski destination and we do that in-house on our CNC router and it turned out pretty neat dude it looks super neat. yeah we even super, super you know neat. we're not really all about being in your face so we even did the truck house we did it behind the faucet so it's just a little detail that if you if you see it you see it if not yeah. that's totally cool yeah let the rig speak for itself yeah that's doing I want to take this on an adventure, man. No kidding. This is incredible. Yeah, you're home. You'll be home. Yeah. You go wheeling and then you're home. Yeah. Yeah, it's got everything and like you need. And like we were mentioning, you can eat here and literally have the, all the windows open, open and still feel like you're... Outside. 
Wow. Yeah, and that's the key, you know, by doing 360 degree windows, I mean, even a window in the door, it's, it's all about being outside, man. And that's what I think a lot of people get um, mixed up with us, with our price point. Yeah. Um, I can't afford what we build, man. Yeah. This, these are expensive, we yeah. know that. But this isn't the only way to overland. Yeah. We're, we just like getting out there. Yeah. We like, if you're in a 98 Subaru yeah. with an air mattress in the back and you're getting it, yeah. we're about that. Yeah. I'm like, hell yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. You don't need all the money to make this happen. This is just one option. Yeah. You know, and we think it's a pretty sweet option. It's a pretty sweet option. <laughs> it's a pretty sweet Dude, option. I, I think if I bring my girlfriend, show her this, she'll come with me every single time. Else. Oh, dip. A thousand percent. <laughs> you can stargaze at night in your bed, That's full Tempur-Pedic mattress. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, we, we made sure to keep everything really, really top notch. Even the flooring is all um, waterproof. It snaps out too, so you can clean it. So if you want to take this flooring out and it's got, oh, wow. it's got 24 volt heated floors as well. So. If you're camping in the winter and your girlfriend's feet are cold in the morning, you flip you flip a switch and they self-regulate at 86 degrees. No, you <laughs> you yeah. guys didn't miss anything. I mean, I cannot even think uh, what else like you we, guys could have missed on. We tried, dude. You, th we, you thought of everything. We tried really hard. That's it's, awesome. uh, it's been a hell of a journey, let me tell you. Dude, Matt, thank you so much for allowing us to check it out and to show our viewers like yeah. this 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 is incredible, man. Yeah, man. I mean, I've been uh, I've been following you guys for a long time. I'm a big t Tacoma nerd. I've had a second gen. It's all I, about the taco, man. I, I, I my, when I was 16, I bought a taco, started modifying there. Sick. Um, I'm a huge Toyota nerd. Yeah. Our goal is to build a house, this box to last as long as a truck. Yes. The trucks last a long time. Yeah. So that's a challenge. Um, that's so, a big challenge. Yeah, and I think we did it. Dude, you guys knocked it out of the park. Thanks, man. Thank I would you. love to go on an adventure with you guys one of Dude, these days. Dude, yeah, let's, uh, once, we're, once we're a little slowed down at the shop, we are slammed. We've got multiple builds going on right now for customers. But once we catch up on our timing, we'll link back up. We'll go camping. We'll bring this. We'll bring your truck. We'll camp. We'll do another video. Show everybody all this stuff working, functioning. We'll camp out of it. We'll, we'll do all of it. Dude, and, let's uh, do it, man. Show, all, show everybody what I it really does. Wait. We'll wheel it. You know we'll do? We'll wheel yes. it. Yes. We'll wheel it. Yeah, we'll, we'll get we'll, that we'll, on we'll, film for you guys. We'll it's going to be eyes. incredible. Make sure to stay tuned. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure to do so. And we will see you in the next video.